Hi, in this video, we are going to learn the oxidation reaction of acetaldehyde. Let's write the structure of acetaldehyde CH3 C double bond O H. We are going to oxidize it, that is, addition of oxygen takes place in the presence of catalyst, that is, a common oxidizing agents are alkaline potassium permanganate Km NO4 or else potassium dichromate K2. Cr2O7 or else chromic oxide, anything we can take. What happens on oxidation? This oxygen will get attached to this carbon. So we get CH3 C double bond O OH. This is called acetic acid. This is called as acetic acid. Here in acetaldehyde, two carbons are there. The same carb, same number of carbon atoms should be in the acid, that is carboxylic acid. Here also two carbons. Let's write the name for these structures. This is acetaldehyde. It's oxidized in presence of acidified potassium permanganate or alkaline potassium permanganate or else potassium dichromate. We get acetic acid. We get acetic acid. The IUPAC name of these compounds. I am writing the IUPAC names also. This is ethanol. The IUPAC name of acetaldehyde is ethanol and the IUPAC name of acetic acid is ethanoic acid. Ethanoic acid. Let's summarize the reaction. Aldehydes are easily oxidized to carboxylic acid containing the same number of carbon atom as in the parent because in acetaldehyde also two carbon and in the acetic acid also two carbons are there. The common oxidizing agents are acidified potassium dichromate or acidic or alkaline potassium permanganate or else chromic oxides are used. Here in this reaction, we oxidized acetaldehyde to acetic acid. Thank you.